This is Mining Scout on tour in Perth, Western Australia, March 2018. I'm here with Alan Stein of Kalina Energy. How are you, Alan? G'day. I'm well, thanks. Good. Thank you for joining us again, uh, Mining Scout. Did My speak pleasure. with you again, uh, uh, we spoke with you last in August last year, and uh, we're here for Alan to update us. And uh, if you wouldn't mind just updating us on what Kalima Energy has done since August last year, please. Yeah, sure. My pleasure. Hey, look, it's been really busy. Um, we've continued to build the land position. We've now completed that. So the land position is probably 30% bigger than when we talked to you last time. We've appointed a local management team using a company called CWL Energy. And they've done a lot of work in the area, particularly for the company that's been operating to the south of us very successfully with a fantastic project called Sawero Resources. And they provide the analog for what we expect to find in our acreage. So we've brought them in as a management team. They've been doing a fantastic job on the ground for us. We've got all the permits in place that we need to go ahead and drill. We've already done some of the road clearance. We've done the site clearance. We've worked out where our water access is going to come from. And we know uh, what we're going to drill, where we're going to drill it, and how we're going to drill it. So we're basically all ready to go. All we need to wait for is for the ground to freeze and get hard and allow us in to uh, drill the wells. But perhaps the most exciting thing that's happened since we talked to you last is we've had our maiden resource report. So with all the work that we've been done, uh, we've done through the last year, we've been able to go to McDaniel and Associates, one of the leading resource auditors in Calgary, and they've given us a maiden prospective resource uh, for the whole project of around 2.1 TCF of gas and 114 million barrels of liquids you know, for the whole project. Um, and of course, the, the key thing is the liquids in this. There always has been, and you've got to remember that condensate in this part of the world still trades at a premium to WTI. So that's, a we think, a very exciting resource number. It gives you an indication of the scale um, of the play. This is a project that will stand alone. The economics look fantastic. And so just to remind you, the strategy here is we're going to drill to prove up the play. We're going to put these wells on test. And then we will seek to monetize the asset because we believe there is an appetite for quality projects of this scale in this very exciting play. And Alan, you made mention of some of the key approvals that you've been getting recently. Can you elaborate on that for us, please? Yeah, sure. Look, Canada has a really great regulatory environment. There's a lot of people doing this in our area already. Um, so there's a series of permits that we need to get which allow us to get access through roads access to water, drilling permits, environmental permits, and engagement with First Nations. All that has gone uh, really well, um, mostly because of the great work that CWL have been doing on our behalf um, on the ground. The benefit of having a team who have all that experience, because they've done it all already, um, really has uh, taken um, a lot of the load um, off the project. So. Yeah, no, that's great. Things are going well. Yeah, good on you. And uh, a recent placing rec uh, recently. It's uh, you've uh, raised three and a half million recently. So you're yes, look, pretty we well we, up. we um we, we just needed to top up a little bit of working capital while we're getting um, ourselves closer to that drilling season when the ground uh, gets hardened. And I'm delighted to say that the placing was uh, oversubscribed. Looks like you know we got some good support out there. Yeah. So that was very pleasing. Yeah, brilliant. And of course, the big question is, you've obviously very bullish on the uh, oil and gas prices going forward. Um, can you perhaps comment on um, w you know, your, your uh, expectations for the gas and oil prices between now and say, let's say two years from now? Okay, look, I think we're, um, oil prices are in a nice band where there's, a, there's an element of balance between um, you know, if, if when, when supply goes down, you know, there's this incremental production that will come out of the resource place. So I think we're, we're starting to see there's a balance emerging around the $60, $70 uh, region, which, which is a good, firm, strong price. And we're selling condensate here, um, you know, at, at those prices. Gas prices in Western in Canada are challenged at the moment because there is a, an infrastructure bottleneck. So at the moment, there is a 50% a, a arbitrage between Western Canadian gas prices and Henry Hub. But in any market like that, when you see an arbitrage of 50%, it gets closed. 
And that's happening already with new infrastructure coming into the area. So by the time we've you know, drilled and proved up this play, we're going to start to see the impact of some of that infrastructure um, easing that arbitrage. And of note, just in the last few weeks, um, we've seen a revival of plans for LNG off the west coast of Canada. We've seen some new government initiatives um, that have come out to stimulate uh, LNG projects on the west coast, and we're still looking at Shell maybe taking its final FID on LNG on the west coast. Um, and there's been a few developments like that, which just, I think, give us a little bit of cause for cautious optimism um, on where gas prices are going. So oil prices are fine. Oil prices fly here. Um, and, I, and I think we'll start to see the gas price arbitrage begin yeah, to close. Brilliant. Yeah, that's great. Well, Alan, uh, your story was introduced to the German investors in Europe uh, last August, and there's uh, considerable interest in, in the, your story at Kalima Energy, and uh, we will continue to follow you with interest. And uh, we thank you for your time today, and thank you for joining Mining Scale. Thank you. We look forward to coming back to Germany to talk to some more of the investors. Great. Thanks for your time. All right. Thank you.